Hello, welcome back to Strawberry Chic End Sale Week. I'm uploading a new video here on my channel every day this week covering the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. Today we are just going to jump right in because I have so many good things to share with y'all. I finally got my online order and a lot of the pieces that I was most excited about came in. So I'm really excited for today's outfits and let's just get started. So first up is this zip top. I think this is a great transitional piece and you could definitely dress it down or even style it up for more business casual. I would even wear this with like an athletic tennis dress type of thing. This is a navy stripe. I love the collar. It sits nicely and it has a good weight to it. Fully zips. I'm wearing a small. If you're wanting a closer fit, there is room to size down. Paired it here with my favorite denim so far from the sale. I did get a couple more pairs in to try out. If you are shopping for jeans, I do have another video where I styled and reviewed a good amount. So I'll link all of my videos from this week down below if you need to catch up on anything. But these are the mother denim in a size 27. And then how cute are these lug boots? I really like the style of them this year. They usually come out with a version of these every year, but I feel like this year's version is definitely my favorite. I like the heel, the color. They're really comfortable. They're waterproof. And I found myself needing something like this last fall and winter with some of our travels. So these were on my wish list and they're a great price point. I think they're $66 in the sale. They do run big. I normally size up half in boots but I went with a size down and they still fit pretty roomy. So I would definitely suggest sizing down a half size. And then here is one of the coats I bought. This is the Ralph Lauren coat. It is a suede interior, really good quality. And then Sherpa on the outside. I love the tortoise buttons and the contrast piping on it. And I think this will be a great casual fall coat. I went with a small, it does have room in the arms to layer thicker sweaters underneath. So if you want a closer fit, there is room to size down and hits right at the hips. I think this will be perfect for one of our fall trips. All right, I finally got in a couple of the dresses that I was really excited about. First up is this sweater dress, functional buttons on the front. They're like a tortoise. This one runs really oversized. I sized down to an extra small and I'm glad I did. And then it has a casual fit kind of bubbled sleeve. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. I paired it with this Kate Spade wallet on a chain. Um, this one would be a tight fit with the phone. I need to check it without the case, but it does seem like it might not fit my phone, but it does have like a wristlet. You can take off the strap, so you can kind of carry it as a clutch as well, or like a wristlet. And it comes in pink and black as well. And then I styled these more casually with these Steve Madden boots. These are really comfortable, have a lot of padding on the bottom, so you don't need to even put an insert in. And I would say they are true to size, blocked heel, pretty good heel height, but at the same time, does not feel like they're super tall. Like I could definitely wear these for hours and be comfortable. All right, this does fit my phone. I don't have a case on it, but I think the loopy would be a tight squeeze, but a slim case should not be an issue. So that's good. And then it does not have like normally wallet on chains have like wallet sleeves, but this one actually doesn't. So just a heads up there, but really nice color. If you're looking for a more affordable bag option in the sale. Originally, I didn't love this dress. It just felt really frumpy. I had it on with a knee high boot, but I think the boot was just coming up too tall. So I switched it out for these gorgeous booties, which I think I'm definitely keeping these. I don't need any more booties, but I just don't have anything in this like more taupe color. And I just think they are gorgeous. These, I would suggest sizing up a half size in. But anyway, back to the dress. This print reminds me, I feel like Veronica Beard always does a floral like this. So it kind of reminds me of her, their type of style, but it is much more affordable. It's lined. I'm wearing a size small, runs a tad roomy. So if you're in between, I would size down. It does have buttons here. It ties on both sides here. And then the sleeve is slightly more of sheer look and then does have the collar there. I also think you can make this one work for like work and pairing it like with a nude pump 
or even fall family photos. All right, before I moved on to other outfits, I just went through and checked inventory to see what was currently in stock. So I am going to try my best to keep things that are out of stock from this video, but this is the point in the sale where things will really start to be selling out very quickly. And I obviously can't tell the future and know what things will be in and out of stock. But I will say if like your top favorite items are out of stock, what you can do, I've had a lot of luck with this in the past. I would just keep up the tab to that item because people do a lot of returning and exchanging during this sale or people buy multiple sizes of things. So if you watch something closely, there is a good chance that you can snag it when it's returned because then just certain sizes will pop in and out throughout the sale, especially during like the last week of the sale. That's when most people are trying to like get things returned. So that's my little tip there. And then I will also be sharing a lot of restock alerts on Instagram on my stories. So I'll throw those up whenever I see anything. All right, here is another sweater dress option. This one is really soft. I think it's a cotton blend. I went with an extra small in this one as well, just because it did look very roomy and oversized. I added a belt just because it was kind of shapeless without. So I did add this cute little belt. This one comes in three colors and a sale, and I like the buckle. It's really nice. And it's also a great size because I can wear this one on my hips or here at the waist. And then these knee-high boots I got in the sale last year, but they do have an, another version very similar in this year's sale. Same coloring, same suede. These are like a genuine suede, really soft, great quality, and it does have a lower heel. So these are very comfortable for lots and lots of walking. All right, I just added the pink scarf over top. This one is more like muted pink in person than it looked online. And then this bag is the one I was most excited to get in. I love top handle bags just because I like to be able to wear it on the arm or hold it, but then it does so also has the longer shoulder strap as well. And the color is gorgeous. Also comes in a gray fog color as well. All right, next up is this faux wrap sweater dress. This one was in the sale last year and I got it in the tan. So I grabbed the black to share this year and it's a really soft, stretchy fabric. Would be nursing friendly. It's faux wrap, so you don't have to worry about it opening up does have a little tie belt here. I'm wearing a small, the material is soft and then I like the flowier fit through the skirt. I styled it here for workwear with these cute little plaid kitten heels. They are like the cutest little heel, true to size. And I really think the toe and shape of these are really flattering. And then I actually ended up loving this toe way more than I was expecting to in person. If you're looking for a good work tote, this one comes in black as well. And I love the folding detail. It's a little bit longer than it is wide, which I think is why I like it so much. And then it does have a center zipper that would be perfect for your laptop if you want to put it in there to keep it secure. And then the drop length of the shoulder is also really comfortable. So you could even wear this with bulkier jackets and not feel like it's shoved under your arm type of thing so definitely a great work tote and it's a very like sturdy i think this is like a staffion is that what it's called leather it's like very sturdy durable type of leather and then it does have feet too which is really nice next up is this cozy casual sweater dress i'm wearing a small in this one and it also comes in ivory this is the gray option and although it's roomy, it hangs really nicely. Like it doesn't look frumpy in the tummy area. This one would be too short for me to belt it. So that worked out nicely. I do like the length of it, especially paired with knee high boots because I don't like when dresses are too long with the boots because I feel like it looks a little frumpy on me. So great length. These knee high boots are not in the sale, but I will link the leather knee high boot black options. Although I would keep your eye on Amazon Prime Day for these because the past couple of years they've done 20% off. These are a higher price point, but amazing quality. So if you have been eyeing them, I would keep your eye on Amazon Prime Day deals for those, but I'll link them just in case. The sweater dress has cable knit detailing. I like how the sleeve is just a solid kind of ribbed 
texture and they're flowy. All right, the sweater dress ended up being even better than expected. I have a Nordstrom sweater dress from two years ago and this one is thicker and softer than that one and I love that it's a crew neck style. The sleeve fits a little bit roomy so I do have to fold it if I want to pull it up. They just don't stay up on me but if I rolled it it would but this is just very soft and luxurious. Honestly does feel more expensive than the price point is even at in the sale. So very impressed with this one. It's gorgeous. Would be a great winter, fall and winter staple that you could dress up or down. And then this is that white belt that I styled earlier in the sale. And then I'll link a similar knee high boot option. One of my favorite purchases, I found these in store and fell in love with them is a pair of sunglasses from Prada. This is what the case looks like. This is not the wrong right pair. Let me <laughs> switch that out. I guess I can show you. I don't know how, I didn't check inventory of these because I wasn't sure if I was gonna share them. These are the ones on my original wish list with the tortoise. It has a darker frame to it and sort of like a butterfly lens. But I plan to return these. I love over here. This pair from Prada. I really like the side of them. So they have this blushy taupe color. And they have like a interesting, like unique shape to them, which is why I went for these. And they feel really comfortable. They don't sit on my cheeks, which is nice. They don't feel too tight. They're gonna like dig in. My Celine ones from last year, after wearing them for a little bit, they get a little uncomfortable because they feel tight on the ears. And then I did get the Tom Ford. I didn't try these on until I got home. They're a little bit smaller. They kind of remind me of Ray-Ban. They have the velvet case. But these actually, I like them better than I thought once I put them on and they're also really comfortable. So these are the Tom Ford. I don't own any Tom Ford. That's what these look like. I need some lip product, but I don't know, I'm still deciding on these, so what do you think? But I'm definitely keeping the Prada ones. Okay, well, while, we're, while I have you, while I'm reapplying, the Charlotte Tilbury has been on the sale the past couple of years. It's a really great product. I was just kind of hoping for something new and different, but it's honestly such a tried and true color combo. That's what I am wearing today. So here's the liner. I like the liner on its own even, like with chapstick. Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder and not the camera. And then the color looks like this. Really nice, very like universal shade. I typically just kind of blot it so it's not too deep. Because I am very pale. And then the set comes with a gloss. I didn't buy the set this year. That's just like the pillow talk that I already have on hand. I don't go through lipstick very quickly. So I've had that one for a couple of years, honestly. But I really like these Dior glosses. These are not in the sale, but that's what I typically wear. And this is the, I think this is, I think it's nude, but it might be pink. I think it's the pink gloss. So that's my lip combo that you can get on sale. Another beauty item, this was on my wish list. I was opening it up and then it has like this sticker thing on it, but I got the pink little Dermapore pore cleaner outer um, and I cannot wait to use this. It's gonna be so satisfying to like do the extractions on your skin. I have other beauty products, let me go grab them. We'll do a little beauty break and then I have some a lot more outfits to share, so. We'll get back to that, but let me show you some more beauty. All right, so first thing I got is this pink hairbrush. I really need one for Josie's room, and this one I've always heard good things about. Very like gentle on the hair, so I grabbed that for her, and then it also comes with a travel travel option. I got this self-tanner kit to try. I've tried nearly all the self-tanners on the market, and this is one that I haven't tried, so I wanted to get that a go. I got the Giorgio Armani Cheek Set. I've been really wanting to try these fluid shears out. And then I did grab this MAC set just to mix it up, but I saw it in store, and I'm worried it's gonna be too dark on me, which is 
too deep, but we'll see. And I really like this color. And then I also got the Westman Atelier set, like a cheek set as well. And it also comes with the droppers. Okay, honestly, I don't think this is the set that I meant to get. I don't know. I thought it was just like two things, so I don't even know what this is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is the right set that I asked for, but I don't know. I need to double check. All right, let's jump back to some of the outfits. All right, here is a straight leg jean option. I'm wearing a 27. They're a five button fly, so it's not a zipper here. They are hitting right at my belly button, and I do like the pocket placement. They have a nice fit through here, because a lot of straight leg jeans, I just have an issue with them being too baggy under the butt, and I just feel like too sloppy in them. But these like fit closer, and then they're more relaxed towards the bottom half, and it's a really nice medium wash. They are a tad long for me to wear without a heel, so depending on what I want to wear them with, I might actually end up hemming them. We'll see but they do lengthen the legs since they drop down a little bit and you can wear them with like boots and heels. Sadly, I just checked and these boots are very low in stock, so that makes me sad. I've shared this sweater a couple of different times in my previous video, so I won't chat too much about it, but I did size down to an extra small in this and I love sleeveless sweaters for layering. And if you are shopping for jeans, I did review most of them in yesterday's video or Wednesday's video, depending on when this video goes up. All right, let's jump over to sweaters. This is the Free People more cropped sweater in the sale this year. It comes in a lot of color options and this one feels really soft, has a lot of cable details. The sleeves are oversized and pretty long, which is typical of Free People's fit. I think I got a small, yes I did, okay. But if you want it to be a little closer, there is room to size down. The shoulder is pretty loose and casual, so you don't have to worry about it fitting too snug there. And then it has sort of a boxy fit. All right, next up is this cardigan, but I would classify this more as a cardigan option. I usually size down in these pieces, but in this one I would say get your normal size. This is an extra small. It is a three quarter sleeve. And then I really love this sleeveless sweater. I was needing one that had like a mock neck like this to layer under sweaters and a lot of them end up being more ivory so I loved the color of this one really great layering piece it is short though so just a heads up there like I don't have it tucked in and like if I was raising my arms up there's not a ton of length there but it works nice with high-rise jeans and then it's kept on the same base layers added a little Gucci belt so this material of this coat again is a little bit thicker but really nice this would be a really great workwear piece. All right, this is the wool and cashmere blend sweater and I'm happy to report it is not itchy. I'm always a little worried when wool is involved, but this is a thicker cashmere knit sweater and it's a little bit longer and cozy. So I love that. Drops down a little bit in the back. I am wearing a small. It has an oversized fit and then the turtleneck is also really nice. Like there's not too much material. Okay, that was great. Great timing lighting. <laughs> And then the turtleneck is also really nice. It's not too thick. It doesn't sit on the neck too tight, anything like that. This one I think was selling out in the other color options, but last I checked, the cream was still fully stocked. All right, I will already go ahead and tell you the red is not picking up correctly on my camera. It, is, it looks much more vibrant, but in person it's a nice, I mean, it still has some coral undertones, but it's a much richer red than it is on camera. But I already own this sweater, so I thought I'd mix it up and pick up the fun red color. I really started to embrace that last holiday season. My nails are currently red. So if you're looking for more casual holiday pieces, this would be a great one. Obviously, it's not just holiday, but red always reminds me of holiday. It's long enough for leggings. It's roomy. If you size up in it, like two sizes, you could even wear it as a dress if you want. It's just very roomy and flowy. Paired it here, again, with the mother jeans from earlier, and then these... Adidas sneakers. They do make a little bit of noise. It's like one thing I noticed, but they are very comfortable. And this is navy. I think they're really cute. And then here is the third Free People sweater option in the sale. I think this one would be my second favorite. I think the red first, then this one, and then the cable knit version. I like this color option. I'm wearing a small 
very oversized for a small. So again, size down if you want it to be closer. It has, like I have mine tucked in to my bra here, which I think is flattering, but it has a little bit of a rolled band here. So I just don't like this look because I feel like it's really heavy at the stomach area. Um, so I don't necessarily like this one not tucked in personally, but I think when you raise it up a little bit, then it looks cute and slouchy. This color is also really unique. It's almost like a heathered taupe. This sweater reminds me a lot of the cashmere option. So if that one's out of your price point and you're not wanting to invest in it this year, this one is very comparable. Obviously they're not the same fabrication, but just the look of it is very similar. It is very soft, has the same sort of red knit. This is a really cute baby pink color option. So I jumped on it, but it comes in a couple different color options. This one doesn't drop down. It doesn't have the slit, but it is a little bit longer. So I think it would work with leggings, but you may want to size up if you want to wear it with leggings type of thing. Has the drop shoulder. I rolled the neck here underneath a bit and I'm wearing a size small. This cashmere poncho is always a favorite during the sale. It's 100% cashmere and it's a great transitional piece. Here I made it kind of like a cute and casual but elevated fall look. This one's actually from my lookbook, which if you haven't grabbed your copy this year, I do have it now live on the blog. So you don't have to subscribe or anything. You can go to the blog post, download it and look and there's over 200 outfit ideas from pieces style from a sale and even if you're not shopping the sale it's a really great resource for outfit ideas so i'll have that linked for you below but here i have it pulled back so it's not as low of a v just to show more of the skirt in the front this is one of the designer skirt options in the sale i'm wearing a size four and they do have a matching blazer to this and then i have that turtleneck like sleeveless shirt from earlier which I'm actually really happy with this purchase and it's one of the more affordable buys in the sale. But I just know it's a basic that I'm really gonna get a lot of wear out of. How sweet is this sweater? Oh my gosh, I love the peplum detail and the little ruffles. It's very soft. I do need to switch mine out for the size down because I feel like the shoulder fits a little bit big. So if you're in between sizes like I am, I'm usually small, medium, I would go with the size down. I love this piece, it's so cute. This so would also work nicely layered like under little lady jackets and things like that and have the peplum coming out underneath. So cute for work, but also nice elevated fall staple. Okay, I had never seen anything like this, so I just wanted to give it a try. And honestly, I love, hold on, it's getting dark and light and dark. But I would also love to hear your opinion on this as well. So this is a athletic dress, but it's midi length and flowy. And I've just... It's basically a tennis dress, but without the shorts underneath. It's extremely comfortable. Like this would be great to travel in. Just very, very interesting, I guess. I like it a little bit more than I was honestly expecting to, but I'm still a little confused because I'm wearing it with sneakers. So anyway, it has built-in pads, so I don't have a bra on, which is nice. And then I do think this drop waist is really flattering. I think that kind of makes it look more interesting and unique. It drops down in the back as well. And then this is a very lightweight, like athletic material. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this one, honestly. So I still need to get through a ton of stuff. I have athleisure and workwear and more casual things to share. I need to review the handbags and the shoes a little bit more, but I need to go grab dinner and hang out with my family. So I'm gonna call it for today. But I hope you enjoyed today's outfits. There is a giveaway going on. So if you want to enter that, just comment below with your favorite item that you've picked up. And I'll be picking one of you for, or two of you for a $100 gift card. You have to be subscribed to my channel and like this video. And then as a bonus, you can follow me over on Instagram. My handle is strawberrychicxo. And I will announce the winner over on the Ultimate Shop page over on my blog, just to make it more secure because sometimes people like to impersonate and comment that you won and that is not for me. So just wanted to give you a heads up there. I will not be replying to your comment if you do win. I will be announcing it on my website only. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed today's outfits. Happy shopping and I will see you tomorrow with a new video for Strawberry Chic Insole Week. I'm going to be 
rounding up my top 10 purchases. So I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.